Utah, 38, Oregon, 7. And this was not fluky. This was not turnovers. This was not anything crazy. This was Utah, 5 out of 5 in the red zone. Oregon, 0 for 3. This was just just a beating. They, they held Oregon to 294 yards total offense, uh, only 63 of those rushing. If Oregon can't run, they can't do anything. And uh, the, the whole thing went to hell in a handbasket for the Ducks on that punt return touchdown before the end of the second quarter. And this was... If, if the game wasn't already over, it was over uh, then. Yeah. It's, yeah, the fact that Utah rushed for 208 yards against this defense I should tell you everything you need to know about the game. Like, it was unbelievable. Uh, Anthony Brown is a... It, it's, it, I try and find the right words. He's a serviceable quarterback who is, can give you some outstanding plays here and there, but as far as, keyword consistency goes, not, not a superstar, not a complete playmaker, whatever. And Cam Rising, like, he has been playing really, really well for Utah, but they didn't ask him to necessarily do anything last night. He was 10 of 18, 178 yards, no touchdowns, no picks. Just get out of the way. Like, <laughs> just don't make any mistakes. Don't beat yourself. That's the Kyle Whittingham experience for quarterbacks, though. It's like, just don't blow this. Like, just do what you need to do. And I do like that they, I mean, they got him going a little bit early. I think that first drive they punted, but, the, you know, you get, a, you get a false start in first and 15. That really, that really kills you. But they had him pass, what, one, two, three, four, four times on the first, on the first drive and just yep. said like, Hey man, we're going to go to you. We trust you. Um, and yeah, I mean, uh, I I'm willing to look, this is Sunday morning. We can wildly speculate, right? We're in the circle here. Oh, Nobody's yeah. going to get roasted for this. Uh, who has been better than Utah since like week four or five, Georgia, Wisconsin. I mean, that's, that's probably about it. I mean, Ohio state, like I guess you could say like Ohio state, Ohio yeah. state for sure. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 You know, there's, there's um, a few, I mean, they, but they, they, good. They, they lost it. The the loss at Corvallis, like obviously Oregon State went six and at home, won again last night, but that one still just shocks me at the way that Oregon State was able to actually run the ball on Utah's defense. I mean, they had what like two hundred fifty yards rushing in that ball game. I, yeah, I just picked that one up. They they ran for two yeah two sixty for Oregon State there. Uh, only only two hundred eight pass yards on nineteen passes. Jeez, that is that is nuts. And. Oregon, how the hell did Utah? Sorry, I said hell. I don't know. You can say whatever you want to say, brother. It is all good. Hell's, hell's in the Bible. We're okay. Oregon State had 114 penalty yards in that yep. game, too, and they still won. Utah's home road splits are wild, man. Absolutely wild. If they could play a bowl game in in Salt Lake City, I think that Utah would be uh, beat anybody. Uh, do, just they, about. do they play, is it at Colorado next week? I've got a lot riding on that game next week. They host. They host Colorado. Oh, thank um, thank the Lord. Yeah. Okay, so uh, so yes. We, that's, is that a Utah over eight and a half for you, and a Utah to win the division? That is Utah over eight and a half. Utah to win the division, and a Colorado under four and a half. Oh, <laughs> I've got three plays. Oh, on that's that. spicy. Yeah. yeah. So I I'm not um, even going to bet the game because I've got too much riding elsewhere. Uh, but I'm actually I'm holding horseshoe tuning. I'm not going to try and mess stuff around, but I've got my tickets right up there, my actual physical sports book tickets for those. So, <laughs> so yes, I am, I am yeah, ready for those. But that. this, I mean, the post-game win expectancy from collegefootballdata.com, 100% for Utah, like this was never, this was never in doubt. Like there's, it from the word go, it's no penalties, no turnover issues, nothing like that. There was no fluke, anything. This was all a Utah thrashing and... And I'm surprised, and it definitely helps get me towards my Utah over eight and a half wins on the season. So we'll we'll move off of that one because uh, just it, we don't need to talk about bloodshed all morning. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at Gary WCE at Chris B Giannini at Winning Cures, or you can email us Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.